Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the March BAM box, the regular one, not horror, uh, so would say the title. But um, people are probably saying March, it's like halfway through April, actually more than halfway through April. So what the heck is going on? So normally I'd be mad about a box being that late, but I'm not because this was set ahead of time by the BAM box folks. They kind of said, hey, you know, the, the March one's going to be late. It may be pretty significantly late. And as you can see, it is pretty significantly late. But honestly, I was kind of expecting it to be even later, given the circumstances. Circumstances being that they were moving locations, which I could be opening this box while I'm saying this, but <laughs> let me get to that. Um, so they were moving locations. They were uh, originally located in Phoenix, Arizona, I believe. And they were relocating to somewhere in Texas. So they wanted to keep, you know, running the business, but be able to go ahead and, you know, do, you know, do what they had to do and, and make their move and train new people because I couldn't take everyone with them either. So they have new staff, they have a new facility, they had to set all that up, they had to move, all sorts of stuff. So to continue to do it, you got to end up being late on things. So good on the communication band box. Uh, so this isn't really an issue for me for that reason. I'm just hoping that it's a good box. I, it's been a while since I, so I don't even remember what all the properties are. I think I actually remember one of the properties that's supposed to be in here, but I could be wrong because it's been some time. But as per usual, a nice tissue paper from a cat. Oh, two pieces, yes. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's one. I'm always happy when it's two because more tissue paper for the cat is better. All right, first thing. I. Usually I like to get the replicas out of the way because I'm usually not all that into them. So the first thing is, don't, this looks kind of familiar, but I don't, I can't 100% say that I get it. It, the prop replica, it looks like some sort of like nerdy-ish something, like a Lord of the Ringsy or Game of Thrones type deal. I, I don't, uh, so, Firefly? I don't, you know, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm just going to stop guessing. Long chain, people can wear it, obviously. It's really heavy. It's like legit metal. The back of it looks like, like a planet, like the moon or something. Like all the craters and stuff. I mean, it looks good. It's quality, obviously. Usually there's stuff, I don't want to get this on the table. It's a new table, if you can't tell. Um... Usually their proper replicas are really quality, so I don't have a problem with the quality of it. I just don't know what it is. I'll have to find out with the spoiler sheet. Next thing, another, huh? Does this go with something? I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't have a clue what this is. I I don't I don't know what this is. I I'm maybe it goes with something else that's in there. It's heavy, it's metal and red and white. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is really, but I like get the point kind of behind it. I have no clue what this is. I'll have to find out from the sheet. Is this, hopefully this is not the spoiler, okay. Oh, this is a spoiler sheet, I didn't see too much. All right, I'm gonna do the pin. You guys know I love the pins. Oh, this pin is so cool. Oh, this is a really nice pin, I like this a lot. Um, so, this was the one property that I did remember from this is Ghostbusters. And you guys know I love their pins, and this is an awesome pin. I'm a Bill Murray fan, and I got Peter Venkman, Bill Murray's character from Ghostbusters. So that is perfection for me. Uh, very, very happy about that. That's awesome. That pin is... God, their pins always look so good. Did you guys get a good enough look at that? Look at this. I'm sorry, my hands, like, shake. That's normal. Um, God pin's so good and anything like Bill Murray like Bill Murray's amazing let me see what number this is out of if it is numbered 
Uh, must not be one of the really rare ones because it does not appear to be numbered. But I'm fine with that. I didn't get a one-up on it, and that's fine with me because that is an awesome pin. I love that pin. That's awesome. But I don't understand these things. Next thing, uh, probably the art print. There's usually something in the back kind of signifying what the art, who the artist is and what it is. But I don't see that, so that's kind of odd. It's a departure from normal. Um, this is... It looks like it's for Infinity War, um, for Avengers Infinity War, which I now remember they had said that was going to be in this, which makes sense because the movie's coming out at the end of this month. And I think this is the one they said that they're, they're doing like four prints that when you put them all together, they make like one giant picture. So for Infinity War, that's really cool. So I can already see where they're going with that. As you can see here, this is, you know, you see Thanos in there, you got Thor, you got Captain America, the Hulk... Um, Iron Man, Black Widow, uh, Nick Fury, and Hawkeye. So I'm assuming that the other three prints are going to fill out the rest of the characters from, uh, from the movie. So that'll be cool. And I got number 985 out of 2000 on the print. And, oh, and his Logan Pack is the artist who did this. I remember his signature. He, I've had... Mm, I've gotten prints from him at least two other times, I think, in the band box. He does nice work, as people can see from this. This is nice work. So that's cool. I like that. Very timely, very cool, very popular. I like it. Uh, and then this might be the last thing, which is the autograph. Um, okay. Now I remember what it is. So this is... I mean, I like the picture. So this is... I don't, I don't know who this dude is, so I'm just going to... Uh, Greg Berg, he voiced Donatello as well as Bebop in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. Um, it looks like it was the original like 80s cartoon, which is awesome because that was the good cartoon. Um, cool picture for them to put there, and then I guess if you can find the other people who did the voices, you can get the other signatures around there. So it's always good when they kind of do that type of stuff. They give you something that looks really nice. And then they put it in an area where, you know, if you want to fill it out and get all the other signatures or autographs, you can do that. Um, so that's cool. And like I said, it looks good. Um, that's cool. I mean, a nostalgia thing from my childhood. I, this isn't something that I'd be like, oh, man, I'd really ha like to have like a signed piece from a Ninja Turtles guy. But since I have it, I mean, I might actually put it up just because, I mean, I like Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles is cool. And this looks good. So why not? And that might be it. Oh, no, that's not it. What? Hold on a second. Oh, okay. So did I... I guess I got the variant of it as well. Because it's the exact same thing signed by Greg Berg, but his autograph is in purple on this one. Uh, see, so you can see it's in purple there. And on this one, it's in silver. So... This must be like the rare variant. So I basically did get a one up on this, but I don't, I don't need two of these. I mean, I can give one away. That's fine. And actually, I think I already know a person who might want it, but um, you don't need to give me two. Just kind of, I don't know, maybe hold on to the other one. Just give me the one up one. But anyway, uh, yeah, that was it. Not my favorite band box, but... Um, this is cool. I do, I do kind of like this. The art prints are pretty much always good. This is a, the, that's no exception. And I like the fact that that's one of, I believe, four that they're going to be doing. You can put all together. This is the shining star of the box, and it's amazing. Really, honestly, just makes the entire box worth it because this pin's so good. Just get another look. Just the quality's so good, and it looks like Peter Venkman. It looks like Bill Murray's. It's awesome. So, um, I guess they kind of did this style of thing because, you know, kind of trying to get the boxes out. Can't take the time to put a lot into the spoiler sheet just because, you know, they're moving. So, it'll probably not stay like this. Um, so, this is Lone Star's Birthright Pendant from Spaceballs, from the movie Spaceballs. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I just... It's been a long time since I've seen Spaceballs, so I was just not going to remember that. 
Uh, then there was the Infinity War art print. It says two out of two out of three. Okay, I don't know what that means. It says two out of three or two thirds. I don't. I don't understand. So I guess maybe they're doing two, but this is only the first one. Okay, I don't know. Uh, then the Greg Berg signed photos. Oh, okay. So basically, for Greg Berg's autograph, you could have gotten these, or you could have gotten a signed Funko Pop or a DVD. That's cool to be able to do that. Actually, a signed Funko Pop would have been really awesome. I wish I would have gotten that. That would have been super cool. Then there was the Ghostbusters fan art pin done by Logan Pack. Uh, oh, so Logan Pack did the pin and the art print. Good job. Very good. And then data storage unit replica from Star Wars. Oh, ooh. My new tape. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> Um, so this is supposed to be a data storage unit for, like, C-3PO, or, or I'm sorry, not C, for R2-D2 from, like, Star Wars. Eh. No, not a fan at all. I mean, it's quality because it's, like, metal and it's painted, but, like, nah, thank you. I don't like that. But, box was good overall. Very, very happy. Like I said, the pin, mm. art print, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm good. Very nice. So hopefully things start really getting back on track. Uh, I still have my horror um, box for March that's supposed to be on the way. And I think that should show up within a week's time from when I got this one. So as you guys know, like that's my favorite one because I'm like very big into horror. So I still really like getting this. But when I get that horror one, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I get super excited. So hopefully that one is awesome and it'll go up as soon as I get it because that's what I do. And you know, as you'll notice, I don't normally just dress like this. This is because I just got off work. Normally I'm not as nicely dressed, which some people might not consider this nice, but for what I usually wear, it is nice. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you everyone for checking this out. Check out some of my other videos. Please hit subscribe to help me out if you can. Uh, let people know about the channel and the videos and share it. You know, all that good stuff, because positivity is awesome, and I would appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, keep it brutal.